Hello there again. <clears throat> um, I just want to do a talk. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Um, but you know, you know, I, I never plan what I'm going to talk about on these videos. Um, I just basically say whatever comes natural. Um, it's a bit like, um, you know, it's, it's, it's like anything that, that is natural. You know, you just have to be natural when you're when you're being true. You know, it's like anything that, that is remotely powerful or seductive in any way has to be natural. If it's fake, if something like that is fake, then it, then it doesn't really work out. <clears throat> and people can tell, can sense if you're fake or not. Um, people can all, can also hate you if you're if you're not fake. You know, because if if they are fake themselves, then they won't like the fact that you're that you're real. <clears throat> but being real is the only way you heal you know it really is you have to be honest with everything you desire you have to be honest with everything that you really feel <clears throat> and what we've got to realize is you know regarding 5g is that the most stupid thing someone can say is that you can't shield yourself from 5g that is one of the most stupidest things i've ever heard because all we, what we are is infinite awareness. And the reason it's a stupid thing to say, stupid thing to say that you can't shield yourself from 5G because you are 5G. You're the infinity. And by telling people that you can't shield yourself from that, that's gonna, that's a stupid thing to say. And um, yeah, it's a ridiculous thing to say. And there are people out there that do say this. And it is crap, it's rubbish. Because what I've realized from the spiritual awakening, and you can look up spiritual awakening, many people have had these experiences, all say the same thing, so it must be true, even science now. Science can even explain how, how it's basically, how everything is connected, and that you're everything. So we are, the, the self, the real self is, the, is infinite, all of infinity. So if you're all of infinity, then all you have to do is tap, into something you know that protects you from 5g understand that you're the infinity you know everything is how you perceive yourself <clears throat> you know perceiving yourself as a person that, that can't protect yourself that has no power like that that's a very very low vibrational way of thinking that is the human programming way of thinking the way of thinking of awakening and when you wake up you realize that that we that you create your own reality by how you perceive yourself, how you perceive your reality, um, what you let into your reality. You know, because what you think about yourself, what you perceive, goes into your subconscious. And your subconscious mind manifests your reality. And ask any psychologist and they'll say it's true. Um, that's what happens. So you have to be careful. You know, when you wake up, people ask, what, what does it mean to have an awakening? When you awaken, it means what it says. It's an awakening. You're now awake and aware of things that you weren't before. You're now self-aware. Most people run around and they're not self-aware. They've got no self-awareness. Most people like will dish out like um, treatment towards it or they'll tell you what to do, but they're not aware that they're probably doing the same things. This is, this is when people lack self-awareness. That's what basically awakening is ascending you toward and what you're open to now is self-awareness. And you can actually um, awaken yourself right now by basically being self-aware, by becoming it. You, it. It's a choice, you know, and this is how easy it is to awaken. But back to the 5G and protecting yourself, you know, it should, anyone that says you can't protect yourself from 5G is obviously not spiritually awake. Because when you have a have a spiritual awakening and the people that have these experiences all say the same things. And even science says, many scientists will um, believe that this is a simulation and that everything's connected as one, that you're not this physical body, you're the infinity outside of it. <clears throat> and so, um, you know, if you think you can't protect yourself from 5G and you're telling people that, that is a, an absolute lie. <clears throat> Of course you can protect yourself from 5G because you're, you are 5G. 
You know, you are all the elements that exist and infinitely beyond it. You know, you're not this physical body, you're not this person, you're infinitely beyond it. So this is why you get people that can move objects with their minds, because they're tapping into a frequency within the infinity, right? That's not something I can do, um, but it's, it's not something that I really want to do either. You know, that's not, that's not to say that I haven't tried, I have tried, <laughs> but it's not the most important. It's not important. It's not important that we've got someone that's a magician and showing great things that, and no one else can ascend to that. What the most important thing to do is, is what I'm doing, is showing people how to spiritually awaken themselves. And the question is, what, what is it that makes you feel happy? You know, so sometimes magical tricks or doing great things doesn't mean you're, you're gonna be happy. Um, you know, that's it. You know, you got to you got to think, how do you feel about your reality? Right? The real superpower to me is how you feel. It's not some amazing thing that people can say, oh, it's magic. You know, we are all magic. Everything is magic. If you can have, if you got life, then that's magic. Everything is magic. Everything is the same infinity. <clears throat> so it means there's no stupid things or no, you know, it's... It's all the same infinity, just some people perceive, or some creatures might perceive themselves a certain way. But that's what it is, everything is to do with your perceptions. Your perception is your reality itself. You know, see, what people have got to understand also about spiritual awakening is not all spiritually awakened people are at the same level. Some spiritually awakened people are interacting with amazing sexual divine energies. Some people, um, are gradually building up to that. They've had a spiritual awakening, but we're all in different levels, you see. Um, and that's the thing when you're listening, not all spiritually awakened people are on the same level of awakening. There's much different levels of awakening. There's infinite levels, actually. <clears throat> and that's also something to consider when you listen to people on YouTube that have had spiritual awakenings or claim this, um, that there are different levels of it. You know, for example, someone that's of a lower level of awareness will perceive that, that, that we're that the aging is part of the human body. Now, as I'm beyond that state of awareness, I understand that aging itself is a perception. That's not to say that I'm not going to age. Of course I am, because I've still got that perception. It's not just a case of healing your conscious thoughts. It's about healing your subconscious. And that's why when you wake up, you realize that you must work relentlessly every second, every minute of every, of every day. <clears throat> because what you're doing is you're trying to heal and monitor your subconscious mind patterns and basically heal them. And in doing this, you're basically escaping this matrix. The matrix is your own subconscious thoughts, ideas, and imaginations. <clears throat> Everything's imagination. It's like... As soon as a baby's aware, well, that's all we are is awareness. But when a baby is born, that baby's aware, the imagination later makes up the physicality and form. So that's all everything is. It's just a collective imagination. And your imagination is is, is, is basically interpreting your, your frequencies that you're interacting with through the brain, the consciousness, and that's manifesting the illusions. And, but it's your um, illusion because you are the one infinity. So basically, this is a simulation and you've manifested it all with your own infinite potential. That's all. No nothingness really means infinite infinity of potential. That's what nothing is. It's infinity of potential. Um, but I'm just going to end it there. Thank you much for watching and listening. Thank you.